So your patient has just had an acute upper limb injury, let's say a fracture or a laceration injury, and you want to really quickly check the key nerves, the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, the radial nerve, for example. Well, did you know that by simply remembering rock, paper, scissors, okay, you can check all of those nerves really, really simply. And if you want to find out how, let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm Khalid, welcome back to Clinical Physio. So as we said, really simple way of checking those nerves, asking your patient to recreate the rock sign, the paper sign, the scissors sign, and the OK sign. Let's find out how and why that is. So first of all, rock for the median nerve. And the idea here is that the median nerve innovates some of the key wrist and finger flexors of the hand, such as flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor carpi radialis, and palmaris longus. So if you ask your patient to make a rock sign and they can't make a full fist, that may demonstrate an injury to the median nerve. So there you go, rock for the median nerve. So next, paper, which allows us to test the integrity of the radial nerve and a branch of the radial nerve called the posterior interosseous nerve. And the idea here is that the radial and the posterior interosseous nerves innovate a lot of the key wrist and finger extensors, such as extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, and so on. So if you ask your patient to extend their wrist and fingers to do the paper sign and they can't do so, then it might indicate a radial nerve palsy or perhaps a posterior interosseous nerve palsy. So that's paper. So next is scissors. And the key thing with scissors is that we're doing finger adduction and abduction of the second and third digits both of which are controlled by the dorsal and palmar interosseous muscles, which are innervated by the ulnar nerve. So therefore, if you ask your patient to do the scissors sign and they can't do so, then that may be an indication that they have an ulnar nerve injury. So there you go, scissors for the ulnar nerve. And finally, the OK sign, which allows us to test the anterior interosseous nerve, which is a branch of the median nerve. Now, the specifics with the OK sign is that we've got a nice round shape here, mainly because we have distal interphalangeal flexion of the second digit and because we have interphalangeal flexion of the thumb or the first digit. And both of those are controlled by the anterior interosseous nerve. Now, sometimes you might ask your patient to do this and either they can't meet their fingers together or they do a little bit more of a pincer grip. That might show us that we have an injury to the anterior interosseous nerve. So there you go. Okay, for the anterior interosseous nerve. So there you go, guys. Rock, paper, scissors, okay. Really quick and simple screening tool as a first step to look for any signs of upper limb injury to those key nerves, the median nerve, the radial nerve, the ulnar nerve, or the anterior interosseous nerve. However, I must stress that it is quite simply step one. If you find that your patient has any signs of injury in those tests, I would definitely look at testing them further. For example, we know that some of the wrist and finger flexors are controlled by the ulnar nerve or the anterior interosseous nerve, not just the median nerve. So they definitely need further testing and really important that you're aware of things like your Wartenberg sign, your hand of benediction or your Fromont sign. And if you want details on those particular tests, simply head up here at the end of the video and you can check out those in a separate video we've done for you. But otherwise, if you'd like any more from Clinical Physio, head to our website at clinicalphysio.com or check us out on social media at Clinical Physio. I'm Khalid Maidan. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you really soon right here on Clinical Physio.